Good evening, sports fans, and welcome back. I know it has been quite some time since the last time I've done a video, so I do apologize, but we have a lot to cover, and I want to go over each and everything that I said I would do an update on, and we will get to that. But tonight, this afternoon, wherever you may be watching this, we are going to go over the Gotenna Mesh. Now, you may be asking, wait, Fun Bob, what are you doing with this thing? I thought you did ham radio stuff. Ha ha! Well, you'll find out now that this actually operates on the 900 megahertz frequency. Now, the first gen that they made of these operated on the around 150, 151 uh, megahertz. It normally operated on the MERS, M-U-R-S band. But anyways, so you might be asking yourself, what is this Gotenna mesh stuff? Um, this is a relay, you'll call it a broadcaster um, some people will call it a little walkie-talkie for your cell phone but if you have one of these and somebody else you care about has one of these and you have a cell phone like so you can actually have communications with each other without a cell phone network now I have not unboxed this yet but we're gonna go through this right now we're gonna unbox it we're going to see what comes along with it, and I'll go over the specs with you guys. So stick around. Right. So it comes in a nice hard box, and it's got, you know, it has um, it has specs on the back of it. You know, uh, it shows that it's one watt UHF radio, um, totally weatherproof, not, uh, you know, um, it talks about range and the laws of physics, and, you know, it, there's a whole bunch of information on here. So... If you happen to get one of those, check it out, um, and uh, it'll give you some good information. So here we see the two Go antennas that I got. I got one green and one blue. It comes with a, I'm assuming this is a charging cable, so we'll put that there. And then there's two charging cables. And let's see, what else does it have? Well, it shows you let's get started. It gives you brief instructions on how to charge it and how to power it and where to go to download the app. Nothing else in that box. So here's the little device. Okay. You got a nice little clippy thing here to clip on your bag of some sort. Um, I'm going to assume there's your charging port. Okay. Maybe this one might be fully charged. There we go. Okay, look at that. You guys see that? I'm going to download the app real quick. From here's the app. Let you guys see that. That's the app there. We're going to go ahead and install that. And it gives you some instructions here. Get started. I'm going to flip it so I can read it real oh. quick. License. So it says turn it off. So I'll show you guys here. I'm going to turn this back off. Okay. And then we'll hit next. Bluetooth is on. That's already on. Oops, might be. I have to do that myself. Okay, there we go. Now it says I can turn it on. And so we will. And it should be pairing. And it says I'm all paired up. So now, well, of course, there's a there's new updates, of course. But all right, so let's go over some of the details about these things here while we're while we're waiting, shall we? Here. But uh, it can work in 45 different countries. Now, when I say 45 different countries. That is including the United States. Um, we already went over it a little bit. The U.S. version of the Go Mesh operates on the 900 megahertz. The first gen, now remember, that's the Go Gen antenna, um, operates around 150, 151 um, for the uh, for the frequency. So it's not too bad there. Uh, it can work as a relay. So even if you don't have this on, or you don't have your phone on, or paired to this. This can still work as a relay. Um, it does 
comply with the FCC uh, Part 15. So if anybody out there is like, ah, it's operating on those frequencies, it complies. Don't worry. Uh, to fully charge this thing, about one to two hours, um, you know, which is good about that. Like I said, it is about weather resistant, um, but uh, not weather proof, we'll say. Uh, and you guys know as well as communication-wise, uh, line of sight works good. Uh, but I've seen these things work as far up to 29 miles away to the other one. So this one and then this one were 20 mi 29 miles apart, and they still worked. Obviously, those are extreme conditions, but uh, and that was in the middle of nowhere. Now, what is cool about this, say you have this one, your friend uh, on the other side of the state has this one. If there are people in between, your message will go through your phone to this, to theirs, to theirs, to theirs, to theirs, all the way till it gets to your your friend here with this other one. So that's how it really works. It's really cool, um, you know, if you don't have a way to communicate, because everybody always has cell phones. We all have cell phones. If you don't have a cell phone, you're like me and you have a bunch of ham radios. But uh, the messages will still relay to one another. I think it's really cool. Okay, uh, sports fans, I'm back. Sorry about the delay. There was about a 30 um minute download I'm gonna sneeze so the download is complete like i said it took about 30 minutes um and now this is updated really cool about the app here is um you have the shout feature and the new chat feature obviously your new chats are here but the shout feature what's pretty cool is welcome to shout this is where you can talk to anyone who is who has a go mesh antenna that's within range it's pretty cool get on the app here you see your chat it gives you your battery percentage your location your contact relay mode now your relay mode I can set this up to be a relay so say like at my house I have one of these I have one with me and a friend has one and for some reason you know I can't get through to them I can actually use mine to talk to the relay to talk to them it's really cool a whole bunch of so after testing this for a little bit, I'll come back. We'll do a review, and we'll let you guys know. And for those that are watching and, and they're kind of curious about this, uh, those that do know about it, you know about it, I'll put a little hint in the description, and uh, that video will be coming up too. But if you did like the video, please subscribe, share, follow, tell your friends about it. I'm going to get back into the videos here, and you'll start seeing me do reviews and testing equipment and um, I know I have to go over the repeater system that I promised you guys, so I'll do that. But you guys have a great evening, great afternoon, and a great morning. Thanks for watching, guys.